Good morning, Hampton Academy Sharks. Today is Thursday, September 28, 2017. I'm Jocelyn Snow. And I'm Lily Ladd. Today is a white day or an A day. Thursday, October 5th is the Winnicunnet High School Class of 2022 in Phone Night at, in the auditorium at Winnicunnet. Student Council will meet on Monday in Mrs. Gillis' room. There will be an 8th grade trip informational meeting for parents next October 4th at 6.30 in the dining hall. The Student Council will be doing a fundraiser for Kachiko Valley Humane Society and Grain Greyhound Placement Service beginning on Monday, October 2nd, and it will run through the month of October. Kachiko Valley is accepting goods, especially from those on their fall wish list. Greyhound Placement Service needs Needs funds since the needs of shelter are more specific. The homeroom that raises the most amount of money will win a breakfast. There will be donation drop boxes located at the school for Kachiko Valley. Author visit. We're very excited to announce that New York Times bestselling author John David Anderson will be spending the day with us at Hampton Academy on Wednesday, October 11th. He will be presenting to all grade levels. There will be copies of his latest book posted available for sale the week of his visit. See Ms. Saunders for details. Play season is coming. There will be a meeting on Thursday, October 19th from 2.30 to 3 o'clock for returning cast and crew members. Stay tuned next week for details on a meeting place. Lunch today will be chicken wingdings, butter noodles, pickles and carrots, pears and strawberry milk. I'm here with Joe and Tim, both part of our construction crew here at the renovation. So, um, Joe, what is your role in this renovation project? My role here at the present is got to do a lot with safety. Um, we wear these bright yellow colored shirts so people can see us, catches the corner of their eyes so there's not accidents with that. Uh, we'll walk around and make sure there's no holes open. We have fire extinguishers readily available, first aid kits readily available. Uh, flags where they need to be and signage telling people to beware of areas that might be uh, a hole or something protruding from the ground or whatever you have. That is great and Tim what is your role um, here at the renovation? Sure Bailey uh, my role is I'm job superintendent and Joe's my assistant here uh, we oversee all the activities throughout the day we coordinate with our subcontractors like the, the guys doing the bulldozing here and the digging as well as plumbing and electrical and all the other trades, what we call trades work. Uh, we'll also <laughs> interpret the blueprints that the architects and the engineers have drawn up for us. And we also keep uh, daily logs as far as what items went on today, what items we might have found, uh, uh, found like in the ground, extra pipe or an extra boulder that wasn't supposed to be there, that sort of thing, all right? That's great. So what are we looking into um, as the major things are going to be happening in the next weeks ahead? The next couple weeks ahead, excavating and preparing the site so we can start the actual concrete foundation work, uh, of, of which we'll start early next week. And the uh, excavating company that you see behind us, they'll continue to prep the site on the other side, close to the high street, so again, those concrete worker crews can continue foundation and up into that area. That is so exciting. Thank you so much for being on Shark News. I'm here with Mrs. Birch, our STEM teacher, and right now the seventh grade STEM students are doing geocaching. Mrs. Birch, what's the purpose of this activity and what benefits does it have? Uh, I feel it's a great chance to practice using coordinates and navigating to them. So right now, all around the field, um, students are searching for little Lego pieces that I've hidden, and they have the coordinate, uh, coordinates to navigate to those. Great, thank you. All right, everyone, you have your two sets of coordinates. If you don't have a chance to write it down, who has the coordinates they're able to share? All right, look around. Okay, um, three things are hidden. It's the Legos, so the Lego leaf, the oh, yeah. blue elephant, and the and girl on a horse, horse. they're hidden. We have about eight minutes. Good luck. Right. 
So I'm here with seventh grade STEM student Allison Hoffmeyer, and we are geocaching. So, can you describe the process to us? So, first we could mark a waypoint, and to do that, we have to set the location. So, here I have on this piece of paper all the coordinates. So, I just have to enter them in here and then mark it, and then it'll show which way to go. Okay, let's go. This week for our Shark Block se segment, Emily had a chance to speak with Mrs. Clark, who is the 6th Academy LA teacher and some of her Shark Block students. Check it out. Good morning. I'm here with 6th grade language arts teacher, Mrs. Clark. So Mrs. Clark, what is the educational benefit of the activities you're doing in Shark Block? So my shark group, shark block group, is a group of kids who are were, um, working a little bit on their reading skills. So what we're doing is we read little short articles, we answer comprehension questions, we go back over them. So it's hoping to improve their comprehension skills and their ability to pick details out of something, out of a piece of writing. Great, thank you. I'm here with two sixth grade students, Drew Morelli and Cameron McDonald. So Drew, what are you doing in Shark Block right now? Uh, we're doing a website that's called ReadWorks, and it has articles, and each of them have like 10 uh, questions. Cool. And Cameron, do you like this? What do you think of it? I think it's fun because after you've done them, you get to see how you did. And sometimes you'll do good, and sometimes you'll do bad. That's great. Thank you. Good morning, Hampton Academy. I'm here with Mr. Doherty, the 7th and 8th grade um, Academy Team LA teacher and Yearbook Club advisor. So, Mr. Doherty, what is Yearbook Club? Uh, thank you, Bailey. Yearbook Club is a club that meets um, every Tuesday, and our task is to put together the 2017 and 2018 Hampton Academy Yearbook. So, kids who are enrolled in Yearbook Club are interested in photography and graphic design. Um, their responsibilities really have around two big tasks, taking a whole lot of pictures at sporting events, clubs, activities, school events, um, and just kids engaged in regular activities. Um, and also graphic design, taking those pictures, designing pages, um, uploading them to the yearbook, and putting it all together. Thank you so much, Mr. Gordy. That's so cool. Thank you, Bailey. Now I'm here with two yearbook club members, Caleb Joyner and Vanya. So Caleb, I know this is your first year in yearbook club, so what are your first impressions? Um, I really like yearbook club. I like taking pictures, which I've already done, and um, I liked looking at the designs, which they'll explain in a minute. So Vanya, what is this theme we have behind us? Um, this year's yearbook theme is based off a of Dr. Seuss children's book, and we're super excited about it because it's new and fresh and innovative. That's great. Thank you guys so much for being on Shark News. Thank you Thanks, for having Bailey. us. Today I am here with cross-country members Lauren, Leah, Griffin and Jacob. Hello guys. Hi. Hi. <laughs> so Lauren, what do you think of cross country? I really like it. It's kind of fun to run with your friends and all the meets are hard and uphill. Uphill. Okay. Um, so Leah, do you have anything to say about cross country and what you think of it now? Um, when I was first going into cross country, I was like, okay, this is probably going to be easy. And then I got into this and I was like, this is not easy. Like, I almost died in the time trials, <laughs> like, okay, okay, Griffin, so I hear that you and Jacob are now two of the three captains of the cross-country teams, and what do you think of it? I think it's pretty cool to be a leader for the team and uh, help the team out and all that good stuff, so. Really cool, and Jacob, how did you be able, how were you able to get to this point? 
Um, just by like ru running a lot in the summer and running over the winter and working hard. And then in the, s in the season, running a lot. Okay, thank you guys for letting me interview you for Shark News. Yay. You're well. Thank you. Hi, I'm here with the coach of cross country. What do you think of um, cross country, coach? I think it's the best sport ever. <laughs> I think everybody should run cross country. So if people didn't have time in their schedule to do it every day, is that okay? Well, you'd never want to run every day, especially at our age. We like to run about five days a week for school, about 20 okay. miles a week. 20 miles a week. Mm -hmm. I don't think I can make that. Um, thank you for being on Shark News. You're welcome. Thanks for having us. Everybody cheer at the camera! And now for your weather, so we do have one weather photo this week. Caleb Gibbons showing off the turning leaves. Thank you so much for sending that in. And please make sure to send some weather photos in sharknews at sau90.org. So now turning to our day planner for today, 73 degrees at 8 o'clock a.m. a couple minutes from now, and we will be seeing the only clouds for today. At noon, 72 degrees, and this is when the sun really comes out. And then at 4 o'clock p.m., 70 degrees, just cooling off a little bit as the day goes on, and sunny still. Now for your five-day forecast, on Thursday, we're going to be seeing, um, today we're also going to be seeing some clouds in between those um, marked hours um, and 73 degrees. Uh, Friday, sunny and 65 degrees. Have fun on your day off, everyone. And on Saturday, um, rainy and 67 degrees. So that's really cool for this week. And um, the, the only rain we'll be seeing in these five days shown. On Sunday and Monday, um, both sunny and 68, 69 degrees. That was your weather, I'm Bailey Jacobs. Celebrating their birthdays today are Nathan D'Ambrosio and Kayla Serafin. Celebrating on Friday are Eliana Goodwin and Tavian McIntyre. Celebrating on Saturdays, Ava Burness. And celebrating on Sunday is Lily Suliotis. Happy birthday, Nathan, Kayla, Eliana, Tavian, Ava, and Lily. Remember, before you speak, text your email, ask yourself, is it kind, is it true, and is it necessary, and remember the Academy way, manage yourself, act responsibly, and respect yourself and others. Go, Go out there and make it a great day. day.